Should you stretch your muscles after a stroke? One of the most common questions I get asked is if a stroke client should use range of motion as part of their treatment. My name is Doug. I've been a physical therapist for 30 years and I specialize in stroke rehabilitation and movement disorders. I help people learn to walk again. Very commonly from patients, doctors, and even other physical therapists, I'm asked whether or not a patient needs to stretch to get rid of their stiffness. After a stroke, one of the most common side effects is stiffness. When the person tries to move their arm and leg, they look stiff. They look robotic. Their motion doesn't look normal. And it's natural to think that the problem here is tight muscles. But in actuality, it's a little more complicated than that. When someone's had a stroke and they try to lift their arm, they're not only going to use the muscles that normally lift the arm overhead, but they're also going to use the muscles that lower the arm. What happens is a condition called ataxia. Ataxia means that the wrong muscles are being fired at the wrong time. You can have the right muscles being used, but unfortunately the opposite muscles will also fire, which makes the motion look stiff or robotic or slowed down. This is a normal way that we learn to move. When we're children, we learn to move by starting off with a lot of stiffness. Babies have a tremendous amount of stiffness and rigidity when they first learn to walk, when they first learn to move. Over time, we learn to overcome that, and we overcome that by learning to fire only the muscles that produce the motion and relaxing the other muscles. But when you first learn to walk, whether you've had a stroke, or whether you're a baby, there's going to be a tremendous amount of stiffness. So this stiffness is something that will go away over time the more the person is able to use the part of their body that's stiff. If your arm is stiff, the more you're able to use your arm, the less stiffness you'll get. So doing something like range of motion might seem like a good idea, but actually there's a very big risk to it. If you stretch someone that has stiffness because of a stroke or a neurologic injury, what you risk is limiting their ability to relearn how to use it. Because there's really a process that takes place. When you've had the injury, first there's stiffness. And you want that stiffness so that you can actually somewhat perform the movement. Say it's standing. You want that stiffness so that you can stand against gravity. You can, you can prevent your body from just dropping when you put your weight on that leg. So you want that stiffness there initially. And if you stretch it, you can actually eliminate that standing reflex, that stiffness, which could be bad because you might not learn to walk as well if your leg is actually too loose. You don't want your legs to be loose or your arm to be loose when you're first learning to move after an injury. Over time, over practicing those activities over and over again, that stiffness will go away because the stiffness is not a function of muscle length, it's a function of the wrong muscles being used. So when you practice that activity over and over again, your body, your brain will learn to fire the right muscles and relax the wrong muscles and that motion will get less and less stiff over time. I hope you found this video helpful. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel.